So this here is an alarm valve. And I'm just refilling the system. When I drained it, I closed the main the main valve, the alarm line, and then I closed the excess pressure pump, which is open right now, but it was closed. So I refilled the system by opening, and then I uh, when I drained the whole system, then I drained it with this valve here. And now I can do it in reverse. I opened this, waited till the pressure was built up. But first I closed the, the two inch uh, main drain, then I opened it. The pressure is uh, built up, so what I did was I reopened the excess pressure line, the excess pressure pump. And now there's building pressure on top more than the bottom. So inside of this there's a, a check valve and it closes and the pressure on top pushes down so there's more pressure on top than there is the bottom and that hopefully prevents uh, water going back to the city. When there's a uh, suction on the city side that's supposed to keep the sprinkler water from contaminating the other side. Normally now these days they have uh, backflow preventers, but this is an old system, so for now it just has the alarm valve. And when I'm done, I will reopen the uh, alarm line, and then I'll be done. So in order, I close the main drain or the uh, the main uh, shutoff valve. I close the excess pressure line, the pump. And then I close the the alarm the alarm valve, which is this, and that's what sends the signal to the alarm the fire alarm panel, because all of a sudden water goes surging through here and puts pressure on the switch. And then I open the drain, and in reverse close the drain, open the main uh, shutoff valve. And when that pressure is built up, no more pressure is building, then I open the uh, excess pressure pump and I'm building up more pressure on top than I am on the bottom. And then when everything is complete, then I open the, the alarm line.